today I'm going to demonstrate how to clip your rabbit's claws. It's important to make sure that they're kept at an appropriate length. If they're too short, they could cause discomfort, but if they're too long, they could also cause problems. They can, um, they can grow too long and they can twist. They can also grow around and grow into their pads, and they can also cause difficulty walking. So it's important to keep them nice, uh, and sort of an even length, especially if you know they're house bunnies or they're on grass a lot because it means that they won't be wearing them down naturally on the concrete outside. So I'm going to demonstrate with you now how to um, hold them. My assistant here is going to hold Petunia so I can clip her nails and it's much easier to do if you have another person to hold on to them because they can get quite fidgety. So you need to make sure first of all that you have an appropriate pair of nail clippers. Um, scissors aren't ideal for this at all, uh, so you really want to get some purpose made clippers, just some small ones, to make sure that you can clip them accurately without causing any damage. So if you lick her at Petunia's nails, they're a little long but they're not too bad and you can see here this pink area is actually the blood supply that goes to the nail. So you really don't want to clip that bit, you want to avoid that at all costs because it will bleed and it will, it will be quite uncomfortable as well for you to clip them, it could be quite sore. So you want to make sure that you clip below the pink area, leaving you know, enough space below it to ensure that you're not going to nick any part that could be uncomfortable. So you need to do all of these front nails here. Also, as long as these nails here, they also have dew claws, which are just here on the side of the foot. You just see it there, it's tiny. You also need to check those two, hers a tiny bit long, that's fine, and then I'll just do the other foot. It's good to get rabbits used to having their feet touched and things from a young age, because especially when they get older and they aren't as active and their nails get longer, if they're used to having their feet touched and potentially their nails clipped, then it's much less stressful for them if they're already sort of used to it. So if we, the best way I find to clip the back nails is to hold them upright. Now you should never ever lie a rabbit down on its back because they find it incredibly frightening. So you should never ever lie them down flat. You should always make sure that if you have to tilt them, they are in an upright position. Now these nails are black, which unfortunately makes it a lot more difficult to see the quicks. So you'd have to be extra careful you need to make sure that you start at the very tip of the nail and just chop off a tiny little bit of nail at a time because you really do not want to catch that quick. Most bunnies tolerate it very well, especially if they're used to being handled. So those are all done.